everybody welcome back to my channel i'm going to be reviewing nancy's wax creations i did win a disney sampler i got this this is thanks congrats on your win enjoy your disney wax melts cute and it had a little disney sticker on it and um i got nine wax melts um that were sent to me and i thought i'd do a little video on them because i've had a chance to melt one of them um it did last for several several days and I loved it. Um, it was a Hakuna Matata. And it's just a wonderful, unique scent. Like, all these are very unique. You wouldn't think to put all these scents together. And that's why Nancy's Wax is just girl amazing. She's a new vendor of mine. I will be making a purchase. Or, like, I will be making an order with her very soon. I wanted to try out some more of the blends to see, you know... If I wanted to order another sampler, this Disney sampler is on there right now. I believe it's $16. You get to choose $0.10 cents plus shipping. And let's go ahead and start out with the ones I don't have. Um, and these scent notes on there. This one is the Netherlands. This is like an earthy, citrusy scent. Um, you get, yeah, like a citrusy and a little woodsy type of scent and this one is like a perfumey like and earthy woodsy scent as well um you do kind of get like a powder note i don't know i'd have to see when that's melting so um then i melted um the kuna matata which is it just stuck out to me and this one says, lift your feet and take it easy with the uplifting fragrance with notes of fresh citrus, American violet, blackberry, and ginger. So, you do get the violet, blackberry, and ginger all like you get more ginger. But that is just such a unique blend to me. And it's just a different kind of wax. Like, it's good, guys. You should try it. And... The next one will go with the Mulan. These are all Disney inspired themes. So it says Awakening Your Sense of Oriental Citrus and Cherry Blossom. And I do get that cherry blossom. You do get a little bit of that citrus as well. Probably more when you are melting it. And then a day with Mickey. says imagine yourself at Disneyland and the smell of baked goods and cotton candy in the air and with this one you do get the baked goods you do get like kind of like a caramel apple cotton candy with like a bakery note in it so oh, that smells so good I love like bakery scents those are my faves and be our guest says sit down and enjoy a feast of notes of baked bread sweet cakes berries and a hint of cream and you do get that baked bread and you do get a little bit of that creaminess but i would say you get more of like a citrusy like the berries and then the buzz light gear oh that's such a good this Buzz Lightyear, if you look at it closely, it has like some like rock candy looking. And if you read the scent notes, it says, Get ready for a deep space adventure with Toy Story. Gang, notes of strawberry, rock candy, rocket, raspberry, and blue sugar. You do get that rock candy and raspberry type scent. Now, I don't pick up the blue sugar on the clock cold throw but maybe you know like on a melt when I melt it but it smells very good and then you got the bibbity boppity boo -hoo. that's what I want to say every time I say it experience the magic of Cinderella moment sparkle and glow notes warm of amber pink sugar and a subtle hint of vanilla bean sorry it wasn't focused um these had different little shapes. It has some hearts and um, 
some little bumps. Hold on, I dropped it. And you do get that warm, uh, like soft amber. And just like, imagine what like a Cinderella type scent. This should be named Cinderella. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Can't wait to melt that one. And then we have um, a day with Mickey. I don't know if I went over that one with you. Imagine yourself at Disney World. It's not baked goods, cotton candy. Yes. And then Mickey's Enchanted Garden. I think that's the last one we have. And this one says, Be enchanted by fresh, green, lush, gardens and fresh air and you do get the green apple and you do kind of get like a fresh note with that green apple it reminds me almost of like like one of those for breezes i can't pick it up or those i don't know are those glade glade or for breeze scent that has like the apple and the clean scent but it smells, these all smell so good and I'm so thankful to be able to try it and hopefully you guys will see me do more review like all my empties but I've been melting so I can give you more of how long it lasted but the moo the moo the kuna matata one that I had melted did last for three days in my warmer but it wasn't going 24 hours I would just Light it, you know, for three or four hours at night, and then turn it back on the next day, and then, the ne you know, kind of like that. So, if you add that together, I would say about a full day, maybe two days, somewhere around there. And that's pretty good for, I think her wax is all paraffin, I want to say, or maybe a pair of soy, because these look like paraffin, like straight paraffin to me. These do. Um, so I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I will ask her. I just want to know myself so I know what, what warmer to use. Um, and I hope that you all liked my review. Please give us a thumbs up and I will be back with more videos. Bye guys.